I saw it. I saw it, but I hesitated. And by the time I looked up, that the next candle, <laughs> the third candle, at what time was it? At 10.07 was already printing. And I was like, man, fuck. And I, I just, I, I should have been, you know what I, I, I need to start doing? Is when I start seeing stuff like that, I need to start preparing to get in. And I just didn't, I just didn't do it. I just didn't do it. I'm fucking, fucking sick, bruh. Fucking sick. I, I'm almost just thinking about staying flat on the day. Because I don't want to, I, I, I think I may just stay flat on the day. I don't want to force nothing. And I feel like if I... If, if I do if I do it I'm gonna force it I'm fucking I'm fucking sick what's going on everyone today you saw a true battle of my emotions because I missed out on a great trade setup that I knew I had called out I knew it was gonna play out so well and it was super frustrating because I let hesitation and fear get the better of me on that one you have to understand I've been on a three-day win streak and it's just been take trade win trade walk away I know without a shadow of a doubt that a loss is coming. It's gonna happen. It happens to everybody. Eventually, I'm going to lose. And if you don't lose, then you're not a real trader. What's important is how you handle those losses. One, not going on tilt, and two, being on risk management. On the opposite side of that, the fear and hesitation that I had could have also prevented me and made me actually lose. So it's a double side, a double edge coin to the emotions and I had to deal with them today, especially because to be perfectly honest, after I missed that trade, I really wasn't gonna trade again. I saw another trade set up, I saw what I liked and I took it. I did still hesitate, so I still have that problem. We all have problems. We all have to work through our emotions, but the first step of beating your emotions is understanding that your emotions are there. Once you can understand that your emotions are there, whatever emotion it is, whether it's fear of losing, fear of missing out, it's hesitation, going on tilt, or what, whatever you're dealing with emotionally, the first thing you wanna do is be able to identify that real time before it gets out of control. Then once you're able to identify it, then you handle it. So I think one really good way of handling your emotions is being able to talk them out and actually letting those emotions out. I felt so much better once I let those emotions out and then I was able to refocus myself find another good trade setup and capitalize on that setup. The only other issue that I had today was actually managing my trade. My trade management on the trade that I actually took was pretty poor. Yes, I got a two to one, but I left so many points on the table. What was a $570 day could have been a $1,200 day. Some things we gotta clean up, not always perfect, always trying to get better, always working hard, to be the best trader I can and y'all are along for the ride with me. But now let's go ahead and let's hop into my pre-market plan and what I was looking at for the day. We are here on the four hour chart and I wanna take you on this higher time frame real fast because I wanna show you kinda of how I came up with my levels and my analysis and what I was looking on for the day. So back over here on July 19th, we made our highest high of the previous run up that we had and then we started to sell off. Right, we finally found buyers down here. We came back up and then we found buyers again. And then we came up, we kind of pulled back into this area and then we came all the way back up here and we made a lower high from right here. We never got back up to test this high. So to me, the bears are pretty much in control of the market as long as we can break down below here. This is kind of the first swing that I was looking for us to break through. This was really important on the day. So what I was looking at is I was looking for uh, NQ to come down into this three hour demand zone and potentially have a bounce, right? And long down here, or for us to have a bullish activity uh, right at open and have this one hour rejecting, which we're currently at right now, or this three hour supply zone where uh, we could also potentially reject, but I didn't think we would get any higher than that. But I was also looking at ES. So if we look at ES over here, we were in a very important spot on ES. So on ES, if we scroll out, we're basically in the same area, but the difference is we're down at these lows right here. So if we look at NQ, NQ's got some time to get down there, but ES was at these lows when we opened up. So I knew that bulls are going to have to defend these lows or else there's gonna be a major, major sell-off in store. And we were already down like 200 points on NQ. So that kind of made me more bullish on the day. I was more inclined to long the market. And one tip 
is when everybody is bearish, it's a good chance or you should look for opportunities to get bullish, right? If the 99% of people are doing one thing, you should be looking to do the opposite thing. And that is very true in trading. If we uh, come down to the five minute, we had news at 830 and it completely sold off the market. So everybody who saw this was probably really bearish, but I was trying to find ways to be bullish and it paid off on the day. Now, let me take you into book map so you can see what I saw on the mistrade and then you can see what I saw on the trade that I actually took. Now we're over here on book map and where I missed my trade was right over here in this area. Now we did have a CVD divergence. If you watched my last video, I explained what the CVD is and kind of how I use it, but I'll briefly go over what I missed here. So we actually had a CVD divergence where this low right here was, uh, we broke this low. So this low right here got broken by this low and the price, but the CVD actually made a higher high. So higher, higher high, lower high divergence, right? You want to see this be low and this make the same low. So I didn't even notice that in the actual trade that I missed, but that would just give me like more, um, more confidence to actually get in the trade. But what I saw was I saw what's called price absorption down here, right? Where every time buyers came down here and they were hidden or sellers, excuse me, sellers came down here, hidden the bid, hidden the bid, hidden the bid. These, uh, red bubbles right these are all aggressive sellers they couldn't move price down lower and as soon as price began to rally we we're going to stop out all these people trying to get short on top of that it was also the low of the day that we got the bounce at so there's a lot of reasons to take the market long but unfortunately i hesitated i had a fear of losing and i didn't take the trade but if you look what happened here we got it a second time. So we rallied all the way up. We consolidated, consolidated, came down, and we got the same thing again, minus the CVD diversion, divergence. But again, I spotted this consolidation where sellers were trying to sell the market off, but buyers wouldn't let them, right? And so as soon as the market took off, I got in long and I was able to capitalize on a really, really, really nice long move. Uh, I got about 28 points. The only problem is that I mismanaged the trade. So I want to go back to the chart real fast and just show you guys how I mismanaged it a little bit. And then we'll get into the live recording. All right. So we're back over here on the charts and I got in right about here, which you'll see on the live recording. And what I did wrong, what I messed up on is how I managed this trade. I should have been moving my stop loss up with the lows of the candles so i'm trying to find my my pen tool over here i know it's it's somewhere where's that where's that stupid pen tool at there it is this brush okay so i got in about right here and what i should have been doing is every single candle close i should have been moving my stop up moving my stop up moving my stop up and i never would have gotten stopped out of this trade until you know i got up here right and i would have caught a massive move to the upside but instead Again, that fear kicked in and it really hurt me on the trade. Now, the other thing that I could have done as well is I could have drawn a trend line uh, as we were pushing up here and said, okay, if we break this trend line, I'm getting out and I would have still gotten out around the same price, right? Probably once we broke down here, I probably would have looked to get out. Plus we had these upper wicks, so it'd have been a good time to get out. But like I said, I mismanaged the trade, but this is what it's all about. It's all about going back reviewing your trades, seeing what you did right, seeing what you did wrong, seeing how you can improve so that way you can really, really capitalize and make the most amount of money possible when you're in these good high quality setups. All right, let's get right into this trade. This could be the, uh, this could be the, the, the higher low put in for longs. <laughs> this could be the higher low put in for longs. I ain't gonna lie. I don't like taking this trade though. I really don't like taking this trade, but this is, this could be the, the, the higher, the higher low right here. All right. I'm going, I'm going to go long. Uh, this is, this is probably a really bad. Oh no, I don't have my brackets on. Fuck. How do you put brackets on? Oh, it's, it's, it, yeah, it's sell, it's sell stop, isn't it? Uh, I'm in. Oh, 
I'm up. I'm up six points. I'm up five points. We'll see. I'm. I'm gonna go to break even. I. I just. I got. I got a really. Yeah. Now I got a really bad fill. So. I'm just gonna go to break even. I'm up 10 points. Should be up more. <laughs> Hesitated. I've been hesitating. Yeah, the Hezzy game has been on point, bro. The Hezzy game has been such on point right now. But I'm up 20. I'm up, I'm up. Damn, damn, damn. Oh my God, this shit rocket shipped. I don't even know how many points I'm securing right now. I'm about to put this back. Oops. Oh wait, no, I don't want to sell two. No, how do I how do I change that? Sell one. Oh, I fuck it up. I fuck it up. No, I still got the sell two on. How do I change it? Oh, I didn't I didn't check it. Okay, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm up 30 points right now. I did. I did. Shut up. Bro, I was sick. I'm still sick, bro. I'm still sick. I'm not happy. I'm I'm I should be up like 40 points right now. I'm I am far from happy. I ain't secure 30. Oh, because I'm I'm trailing up my stop. Let's. I do feel better. I feel I feel a lot better. This has been a lot less stressful, a lot less stressful. I wasn't a it wasn't a it wasn't necessarily a meltdown per se, but uh, we're up thirty five points. I think I'm securing, I'm securing 30 right now. Uh, I, I don't even, it's funny because I, I didn't switch this over. Uh, so let me go to my trading screen right here so y'all can see. I'm about to secure. Nah, I, uh, nah. I'm about to get ticked out. 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 All right, ticked out. Twenty. I got. I got to. Oh no! No! I got ticked out, and then it went ham. Oh, that's so unfortunate. That's so unfortunate. Nah, I secured five seventy. I secured five seventy. I'm cool with that. Fuck, man. Nah, we 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 definitely done on the day. Five seventy done on the day. But damn, it ticked me. It literally ticked me out. I should have held to there. Oh, oh, look at that candle. Oh, man, that's crazy. That's crazy. I am going to cry. I am going to cry, Jayhawk. I'm hurt. I'm hurt. No, I did. I did. I, 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 yeah, I did. You right. You right. I'm, I'm not too overly upset. That was, that was probably the, one of the easier trades, but this shit's still going. And I got ticked out. Oh, why did I take two contracts, bro? This shit is going ham. <laughs> I did I just take two? Oh my god. I did, and I forgot my brackets too, bro. I was, I was, I was scared, bro. I was scared. I, I get scared when I forget my brackets. But god damn, this shit ripping. <laughs> I caught a great long. Oh, oh, oh my god. I caught a fucking amazing long. That, that hurts. That hurts. Um. Damn, y'all. Damn. No, no, no. I'm done trading on the day. I'm done. I'm one and done. I four four hundred to six hundred is like my goal on the day, and I, I'm 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 up uh, fifty one thousand. Right, matter of fact, I gotta show my my thing for for the YouTubes. Hey, what up, y'all? I'm up 
uh that was 570 on that trade up fifty one thousand four hundred and eighty nine dollars on the account so very very good very good but this trade is still going it's not done it's not done i could have got 60 on this bitch <laughs> oh i could have got 60 god damn i'm so upset with myself i could have held it's okay though because that that trade was repeatable as hell 